Let's talk a little bit about the training. Your training. Um, mm -hmm. I, think you're, I think you're in a swimming pool over here in a rather large um, spacesuit. Um, talk, talk us through this picture. Yeah, I see. That's a picture with me and Samantha Cristoforetti uh, doing spacewalk training underwater. Um, there's a big pool here in Houston. I'm in Houston right now, and it's called the NBL, which stands for Big Pool. And uh, they say it's the world's largest. So we have a model of the ISS on, in this pool, although it's only half the ISS because the ISS is so big, it wouldn't fit in the pool. And uh, you go underwater. The big It's basically the same suit except for the backpack doesn't work. We have a, an air hose that goes to the surface to provide cooling and, and air. Um, in space, you don't have that. It's Everything is self-contained. Other than that, it's basically the same suit that we wear. We have these support divers. You know, each astronaut has two or three support divers that are helping them, making sure they're safe, um, moving equipment back and forth as we need to swap things out. So that training is really good. It is a physical workout. It's the suit weighs probably 300 pounds or so. Wow. Okay. Plus all your equipment. So it's 400 pounds or more. And in order to move, you're pushing 400 pounds of water. It's Archimedes principle. So just moving around is a workout. And so, and you're constantly squeezing in these big thick gloves that are pressurized. So the NBL runs are six hours. Um, and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's really good training, but it is a pretty tough workout. How, and how well do you think it prepares you for the real thing? Oh, really? Well, I mean, the NBL training is invaluable. If we didn't have um, that training, it would be, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to do it. I did three spacewalks on my last mission um, and they all went really well. They were super busy, very intense to say the least, but um, it was because of that training and the work of the divers, the work of our training team and engineers that got us ready for that. That's a pretty funny picture too. Getting the helmet on, I always have a hard time getting over my head because I have this giant head. So I'm, Samantha is kind of a normal sized woman and I'm, I, I'm <laughs> average, but I have a big head. So you can see yeah. in that picture just how big my head is. They yeah. actually had to come up with a unique procedure. I had to rotate it 90 degrees and angle it and pull it and then rotate it just to get it over my giant noggin.